Hey guys, so welcome to day six of the Reading Rush, second last day. So yes, it is Saturday and it is two o'clock and I wanted to start the vlog earlier because it is weekend so I don't work today or tomorrow, but I was editing the vlog this whole morning, so... <laughs> but anyway, I did read the tiniest bit of The Last Magician, so I'm now on page 338. But let's just check in to see how I'm going with the challenges. So I've completed all the challenges except for read a book with a non-human main character. And for that I'm going to read Saga, but I think I'm going to save this for tomorrow because I could easily finish all the challenges today and just read this. But I want to finish all the challenges on the seventh day just because I find that satisfying. So I'm going to save this for tomorrow so I can stick that last badge in. But I'm definitely going to complete the challenge to read seven books because this will be my my seventh book and I'm definitely finishing this today because our Books with Friends live show is tomorrow so of course I need to finish it today. I have like 160 pages so yeah I'm going to finish this and then I think I'm also going to pick up, this is sort of random, this isn't even on my TBR, but I just want to read another graphic novel in addition to Saga. I think I'm going to pick up The Prince and the Dressmaker because it's on script. Maybe I should double check that because script sometimes lies. <laughs> I was talking to Kaz yesterday and she said how amazing that graphic novel is. So many people tell me to read it so I just want to read a graphic novel. Okay so it is on script so that's super exciting. I think I'm going to read that in the bath um, and it should be quick to read so yeah but I'm going to do that after I finish The Last Magician and then after that I'm going to pick up either The Rise of Kyoshi or The Red Gods of Magic and this is for my owls because I'm also participating in owls in July and I need to complete the challenge to read a book that starts with R and I was originally going to read The Red Gods of Magic but then The Rise of Kyoshi came yesterday and I'm so excited about this so I might pick this up. Maybe I should check the page. Ooh. <laughs> the Rise of Kyoshi she is 442. Red Scrolls of Magic is 345. <sighs> okay, I'll decide after, but now I'm kind of thinking I should pick up this because this is shorter and it'll be less stressful. But I don't know. Okay, we'll see. I'll decide after. <laughs> but no matter what, I'm definitely not going to finish either of these today, I don't think. But I'll get a start on one of them and then continue reading it tomorrow. But yes, yeah, so now I'm going to read The Last Magician. I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook for a bit. If you've been following these vlogs, then I mentioned how I prefer reading this physically. The audiobook is still good. I just prefer prefer reading it physically but I really just want to do some journaling so I'm going to listen to some of the audiobook while I journal. So I think I'm going to listen until I get to page like 400 and then I'll read the last 100 pages physically. And I think I'm going to set up the beanbag again because that's honestly like one of the best places to read now. Like I feel like that's going to be a new thing for me because it's perfect. So yeah I'm about to do that so I'm also going to show you some of my journals. I'm so excited because like I mentioned in my first vlog like day one I have been super into journaling and it's one of my new favorite things and I just absolutely love it and I actually did receive a fun stationery package I think I got it on Thursday I just didn't show you but I wanted to show you now <laughs> so I got some cool things from this Etsy shop on Etsy oh my god <laughs> an Etsy shop called Darino they are a Korean shop and Korean stationery is amazing. I'm not going to show you all of it because I kind of got a lot <laughs> but I'll show you some. I got these washi tapes and they're all amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to journal right now. I got some cute notepads, so how pretty is that one? It's like a Sailor Moon one. This one says review and it actually has the star ratings, which is so cool. I'm going to use this for my movie and TV build journal, which I'm probably going to start today, so that's going to be super exciting. And so I'm going to use this for my reviews of movies and TV shows. I also got these for the same reason, so obviously these fit the movie theme. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh, of course I have to show you this Alice in Wonderland notepad. That is everything. Oh my gosh, I forgot to write it down that I watched Alice in Wonderland. So at the moment I track all the TV shows and movies that I watch each month in my notes. I wanted to create a movie slash TV bullet journal where I can actually write it down so it will be similar to my reading bullet journal. And yeah, I'm just so excited. They also gave me all of these freebies which is just so cool and generous. These really cute Spongebob stickers and like even this whole sticker sheet. Like I didn't order that, they just gave that to me. So yeah, see, Darunari gift. Sorry, it's not Daru Naru. Duru Naru. So Duru Naru. That's how you say it in Korean. Probably not the best pronunciation. Don't judge me. <laughs> I am Korean, but I'm rusty. So yeah, let's do that. But first, I'm actually going to work on this bullet journal. I'll just talk about this one now. So this is my planner. This is what like most people use bullet journal for, I think. So for example, this is July. And I was actually using a different diary before. I've never found like the perfect diary that has the layout that I like. So obviously, using a bullet journal, you can create your perfect layout, which is just so amazing. <laughs> and I just thought I was too lazy 
for it but like I love it so I should have done it earlier. So that old diary that I was using I actually just cut out the art from that because I love the art in that diary and stuck it in here so this is July. I have my habit tracker so I have different habits that I like to keep track of and obviously 1 to 31 and colour each day that I do it. And then this is my July spread. I started it on the 22nd which was the first day of the reading rush. I'll show you this more in depth when we get to the desk but yeah so I'm gonna work on my August spreads because I've sort of set it up but I haven't done week to week. We're gonna do that first and then I'm gonna start my movie bullet journal. Oh by the way this is from Archer and Olive. Archer and Olive is like sort of more luxurious bullet journals because it's really good quality. They have silver edges and I really like them because well it's nice like it's just nice to hold. My reading bullet journal is from Clever Fox and it's really cheap. I think it's like ten dollars and I think this one's like twenty or twenty five and the Clever Fox one is a really good affordable option but I do prefer the Archer and Olive. The pages are slightly thicker and I like how it's bigger. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be using one of these bullet journals for my 2019 reading bullet journal. But the Clever Fox one is definitely still an amazing option. Especially if you're looking for a cheaper one. But this is just so luxurious and I just love the little star. Anyway, I'll leave these stores linked down below. But anyway, let's just get reading. Get bullet journaling. Yes. Okay, so yeah, this is my July spread for the month. So this is just the perfect setup for me because in a usual diary, it's just like the week and you can't see the full month and you have to keep flipping back and I don't know I just like to see the month as well as the week so this is perfect because I have all of my days of the week here so no matter what week I'm on I'll still be able to see the monthly calendar and all my month events that I have planned so yeah I just love it whatever week I'm on I can just use the paper clip to pin it down so it doesn't like stick up like that but yeah it's just so good and then I also have this is like my monthly to-do list so I'm going to be doing that for August oh sorry this is also <laughs> So this is just like a monthly calendar and this is for my two YouTube channels. So I will write down each day that I post. I've been lacking on my ASMR channel. I know I need to get back into it. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that again for August. So yeah, so I've already set up my habit tracker and I've sort of set up the monthly spread, but I obviously need to do like each day. So I'm going to be doing that now. I also just wanted to quickly show you a little glance at my desk. So this is the desk where I usually journal and I have all my supplies. So I have these drawers. I store like my washi tapes, sticky notes, pens, small pens, paper clips, my journals, and then I have some more pencils and pens and scissors and stuff like that. And then this is actually a box that came in fairly and I'm just using it to put stuff that I'm planning to put in my bullet journals. So there's a lot. But yes, yeah, so it's not perfect, but it's okay for now. <laughs> So I'm on page 393 and I have completed setting up my August spreads. So I have the mini calendar and these symbols all mean stuff. And I actually have this little flap at the front of my bullet journal. This is like the key. So a triangle means appointment, circle means event, square means birthday live show. Yep. Yeah, so I really love that. And I've written down my key events for the month. So yeah, and I actually did, I don't know if you can see, yeah, I did stuff up the calendar because I was focusing on the audiobook, but I just glued in some spare bullet journal paper because when I cut these pages, I keep them here in case I need to use them for this kind of thing. But yeah, so that is that. And I was going to work on my movie slash TV bullet journal, but I realized I haven't set up my August spreads for my reading bullet journal. So I should probably do that. But I did want to quickly show you the journal I will be using for my movie and TV bullet journal because it's actually a black bullet journal. So I am so excited to use this. I'm going to mostly use metallic pens and stuff and I think it's going to look so cool and I feel like it will especially suit the TV and movie bullet journal vibe. I really wanted to start this but I think I should work on my August spreads but hopefully you'll see this soon because I'm so excited. And this is also from Archer and Olive. I believe it's like a limited edition but I think they are selling it right now. But yeah, I just think it's going to look so cool. Also, there's a chance I might actually keep listening until- oh my gosh, this is so annoying this angle. <laughs> there's a chance I might keep listening to the audiobook until like maybe 
maybe 450, 420, I don't know, because I want to keep working on my bullet journal and I'm already nearing the 400 page mark, so, but I definitely want to physically read at least like the last 50 pages, so. Okay, it's me again. <laughs> Before I start working on my August spreads, I actually wanted to show you this bullet journal because this is a bullet journal I have already started. So this is my, I call it my life bullet journal, so it's basically just memories for the year. So I've decorated it with these stickers from Redbubble and it is the same Archer and Olive notebook. I didn't start this at the beginning of the year, but I am documenting like my entire year's experiences. So I'll just show you some of the pages. So yeah, I just call this my 2019 life bullet journal and I stuck in my cute little anime me that I created on picru.me. I really love this page. This is 2019 hobbies at a glance. So I wrote this as if I wrote it at the beginning of the year. I just wrote some of my huge hobbies. So obviously books, basketball, switch, little peep, anime and I just really love the way that it turned out. This is a really cute spread. This is for Books with Friends. So we started Books with Friends, the book club that I run with Common Spence in February. So this is our first live show and this is one of the postcards that we give out each month. I also really love this spread. So this is when Kevin and Perina came to visit. So this is some of the photos that me and Kevin took. We went to Featherdale Wildlife Park and this is just the admission and map. So I stuck this in here. That's a cute little photo of me and Kevin. But yeah, I think that's all I'm going to show for now. I am going to do a full flip through at the end of the year and I'll probably show it again in future reading vlogs but yeah I love it. So I finished doing my August Days Red spread and I really like how it turned out. I obviously did like a starry theme. My August theme is definitely going to be magical because I'm participating in newts. But I think that's all I'm going to do for today because I got up to page 419 of The Last Magician and it's getting so intense and I want to physically read it. So I'm going to physically read now until I finish it. So I think that's all the bullet journaling I'm going to be doing for today. I might continue doing it tomorrow, but yeah. Okay, so here's Penny. A lot of people have been asking where she's been and she's here she just hasn't been in the vlogs <laughs> but also she's really busy all the time but anyway so Penny's going to film me doing the video challenge because the video challenge for today is I have two minutes to try and find books to spell my name so I have to find C-H-L-O-E titles that start with those letters and you have to choose one colour and all the books have to be in that same colour so I think I'm going to choose black Gosh. I know it's kind of scary so I think I'm going to choose black just because I don't think I have enough of any other colour to spell my name so yeah I'm going to do black and Penny's going to film it so oh wait I need to get the title black what's this robot oh, that's Al okay ready set go okay break <laughs> okay, C. I think I'm going to do Harry Potter. H. L. Frick. I don't know if I have L. Oh. L. O. O. How much time do I have? One minute. Well, I have O and E, so. I don't know if I have O. Oh, maybe up there. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Sorry. Okay, wait. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 how much time? 30 seconds? Okay. E, 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 E. Break. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, seven 
seconds to spare. Okay, so I thought I wasn't going to be able to complete it, but I did. So. Lol, but I did. <laughs> With okay. seven seconds remaining. So. <laughs> okay, so. I thought it was going to be cool. <laughs> what do you mean? Just looks like a bunch of. <laughs> Oh, is this cool? C, I have carry on, H, Harry Potter, L, Lord of Shadows, O, I'll do it, and E, everyone's an alien when you're an alien too. <laughs> also, Penny wants to read a book. If you saw my tweet, I tweeted how she literally, like, I asked her what kind of book are you looking for, and she literally said, something cool and not sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want that. But that is so vague. No, yeah, because I really want to do a buddy read with my boyfriend. Well, I think you should read Heartstopper, which is the graphic novel I told you about. Penny actually did read A Quick and Easy Guide to Queer and Trans Identities. I told her she should read it, and she read it. So what's your review? Colourful, cute, <laughs> and fun. Ah! Definitely. Engaging. <laughs> Did you learn? Yeah. She said she learned a lot from this. Whip! I oh. thought I knew a lot, but I didn't. So I really recommend this. It also makes you feel really good because it's just really cute. And it's funny and well written. I love the character, the snails, <laughs> the mushrooms. <laughs> There's snails who are telling the story, so it's really cute. So if you want to recommend any books that you think Penny would like, she's definitely not huge into fantasy, like maybe urban fantasy, but you're most... Like, do you want a contemporary? What's that? Just set in the real world. Oh, like, I don't even mind. It's if it's good, you know? <laughs> you don't even know your reading taste, so I don't want to recommend you something you might not like. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. <gasps> Wicked Fox! Oh my gosh, definitely Wicked Fox. Why? Because it's a fantasy, urban fantasy, and it's set in Seoul, and it's like a romance as well. Oh really? And it's about a gumiha, and that is like a Korean myth about a nine-tailed fox. Oh, mum to... says monster. Ah! <laughs> <Got me all. laughs> okay, bye! I go for the New York Knicks. <laughs>
Okay, so I've set up the bath and I'm so excited to hop in and read The Prince and the Dressmaker. I did also use the bath bomb that I got from the Kingdom of Souls box and I wanted to show you this off because it's so cool. I got this from eBay. It was like $30, I think. And it's like a bath caddy. So I'm going to put my iPad here. They also have a place where you can put your phone and your wine glass, but I don't really drink wine. Anyway, so it's amazing. It's enhanced my bath experience and I just love it. So yes, this is going to be amazing. the prince and the dressmaker and i absolutely adored it five out of five stars it was just so so cute it's basically about prince sebastian and sebastian sometimes likes to be prince and sometimes likes to be a princess and wear dresses and it's just so heartwarming and the dressmaker is amazing and oh, yeah, I loved everything about it. It was so, so cute. And as you should have seen, I updated my bullet journal. So my total page count for today is 466. So definitely an improvement from yesterday. But I actually also did start listening to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban just because I've been feeling the craving to pick this up. And I wanted an audiobook. So I'm actually on chapter three. So page 33. I already updated my page count. So I'm just going to add that to tomorrow's page count. But yeah, so successful reading day finished two books. They were both five stars and so amazing. But yeah, so now I'm going to start editing this vlog. Sleep at a reasonable time, hopefully, because I have the live show. And also, if you're wondering, I'm going to confirm who my BTS bias is tomorrow because I only just uploaded yesterday's vlog, so I want more comments to come in, but I'll reveal it tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day or night, and I'll see you tomorrow for the vlog.